What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into uh, my good sis voice. Carmen fans upset. Michi responds to Carmen and Corey back together. Corey girl speaks. I just revealed that him and Carmen are back together. Some pictures and videos of them were just posted. I think I'm a white man, right? I, I saw that. Congratulations on that. I see it. I said, you know what? I'll give up, man. I'm done trying right. to put it in God's hands. Yeah. Tell me why 5 o'clock the next morning, I got a Miss FaceTime call for us. Wow. You know, you're I look like a Christmas tree. Bro, I, I walk, I listen, walk and talk to my phone. I, 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 I don't want to see this again. This. I really don't. Okay, that's not Carmen. Y'all know he dating a lookalike. Y'all know he's dating a lookalike. So I did go to Jennifer's page, the girl that looked like Carmen that was talking to Corey. <laughs> and Jennifer has braids and the girl in that video has her hair slicked back. Also, Jennifer is no longer following Why Corey. Why y'all acting like y'all don't know that that's Carmen? That's crazy. On social media. And yesterday she posted this picture to her stories. Then later in the day when everything came out about Corey and Carmen, she deleted the picture. People were also mentioning Michi in the comments and ironically he went live. She was literally in Michi live flirting with him yesterday. So what's really going on? Was she not Yesterday, just with me? Yesterday, because he was remixing the song that he wrote about Carmen. And people were commenting on the live. Carmen and Corey got back together. And he said this. Mm. Y'all listen to too much stuff, man. And he recently said this in a live. I'm trying to be vulnerable with my lady. You feel me? I'm trying to I'm trying to show. I, I want to show my how, to really, how love really is and how it really feel. You feel me? Like, all that shit is cool. I'm a man at the end of the day. But we go through this shit with y'all. DM. What do you mean, DM? I ain't gonna lie. Michi really sound like Michi is crushing on Carmen. Like, I like keep really not only trying to crush, like Prime say, he got a crush on Carmen. I don't be in the DMs, man. I don't play in the DMs. You dig? Huh? The DMs is for business and entertainment purposes only. Don't be in there sending me them little clips and stuff, y'all. I'm telling you. Y'all gonna be sending me them I'm gonna be right, I'm gonna be showing them, be showing Bay. I'm gonna be like, hey, babe, come here, look at this. Just show me your not only that, Michi and Carmen are still following each other on social media. So I'm confused on what's really going on. I really want to hear what Carmen has to say about this what? situation because, yeah, they were hanging out over the weekend. They went to church. That was a good fit. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't together you know they talking and maybe Corey thinks they got back together but maybe that's not the case Corey did say in a recent live that he no longer live in miami that he's back home in alabama living with his dad so i don't know if he's jumping out the window so quickly thinking that him and carmen is gonna get back together and then he gonna go back to houston and live with her i came back home i, I literally came back home i packed up the um, house and bought all my shit back home you feel me and i'm coming to alabama i really don't know a nigga could literally have all the money in the world. I keep trying to tell y'all that I, I know money can buy things. Now, don't get me wrong. <laughs> money bring me a little bit of happiness, Lord knows. Because I ain't got to worry about all them other problems. But uh, trying to run away from your wife and having money, it don't mesh. He left a penthouse in Miami. He shouldn't have never moved there in the first place. I told y'all he was going to miss them children. What you doing in Miami? You got to look two little babies that you want. Like you want to, you know, raise them. And I'm saying that like he wants to be an active dad, you know, or active single dad at this point. And you're in Miami for what? <laughs> what are you going to do there with two little babies? Come on now. Nothing. I'm going to tell you right now. Not a damn thing at all. Child. What's going on? But Carmen is supposed to be dropping a video with Kayla Nicole today. And y'all know Kayla Nicole. She gets the tea. So y'all leave your comments down below. I will be back okay. with more tea. And until next time, peace. Ciao. Okay, let's see the other one. That's just crazy. Um. Okay. This one. Going crazy since Corey announced that him and Carmen are back together. Well, yeah, Carmen, Carmen recently we dropped the video titled, video. No, We Are Not Back Together. Now, Carmen explained in the video that you will be seeing her and Corey together moving forward because this is the father of her child and they are going to have to be in rooms together because they have a child together. So that's her explanation for the pictures and the video of them being in the same room together. Now, she also talked about Corey's video announcing that they were back together. Now, she said that she didn't see the video, but whatever he's saying in the video, she doesn't care because she knows what it really is 
is. Now, I don't know if Corey felt like them recently hanging out together that they're back together, but Carmen is clearly letting it be known that she's not back with Corey. Regardless of where it's been going on, I'm, I always hold love for him but it's not that i'm in love with him it's not that i'm saying oh we are back together y'all like woo like that's not the case she even Girl, we put know. this in the video he, he proposed and said, that's what he said he said he was getting his wife back they were gonna be a family again he was leaving <laughs> miami he was changing his life. I just no good. Yeah. I got a new man, and I was like, "Who's the man?" Plot twist: You. Oh. I have no clue. I said, "Wait a minute." <laughs> so Carmen was acting like she was breaking up with Michi or whatever, because that was my thing in the beginning. Like, what's going on? Like, why does it seem like Carmen is not into Michi as much as Michi is into Carmen? But the truth is, plot twist, they been together the whole time. That's why he said, I'm about to tell my girl and all this other stuff. Girl. Let me tell y'all something. I'm here for it. When I say I'm here, the amount of here for it I am. <laughs> Listen, I'm here for it. Y'all let me know what y'all think about all of this down in the comment section below. Okay. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah. Oh, wait. This video six minutes. We ain't done. <laughs> One thing I'm going to do is get my eight. Y'all better know. And we can get into Tea Room's other video. But how long is her video? Eight minutes. This one is eight minutes as well. Um... Wait, what? Let's get into this. So as many of you know, Queen and Dami do I know have a random, podcast but... called Let's Talk About It. Now, recently, Queen called upon Carmen to come and be a guest on her podcast. Now, this was some of the things that Carmen had to say about the situation with Corey. It, was, it used to be like, oh, that'd be oh. back. That'd be back. Like the first four weeks. When, you know, when I was at home no more mm -hmm. and see it with X, I was like, that'll be back. But then I started telling myself, I'm like, no, because he's actually waiting for your, for daddy to come back. Right. You, he don't want, you, he'll, you he don't believe want him to, like, hanging on your start a, yeah. a trust thing at a young age, like, to not, you know. Mm -hmm. not so I just started telling myself, huh. daddy working, okay? And he'd be like, okay. And they go by his business. Mm -hmm. But, <laughs> but I'm sure, sure eventually, was, like, so right now, is, is co-parenting happening right now? Or is it, like, just mm -hmm. not? That's. I don't know what's really going to happen okay. with that. Like, oh, yeah. Well, we just going to pray for know, the best. That's what I just said. Well, yeah. well, at least he was able to see them cheering because I, I did want him to see his children. All we can do is pray for the best situation possible, you know? Yeah, that's what I, even yeah. my mom, when I have some conversations with my mom, I tell her, mom, all I can do is just pray for it. Pray yeah. for him too because he's still the father of my kids at the end of the day. Right. But other than that, it's like, I'm just letting, I'm just letting it. So now the Shade Room okay. teens did Corey, post what? a clip of this podcast with Carmen saying this about the kids and Corey. I just Corey love responded her. with, stupid. I just love her. You fumbled with the your heart wife. Emoji. But now let's move on to this next topic with Flo. He fumbled his wife in front of everybody. And Karina. Now you guys know there's been a lot of drama involving Flo and Karina these past few days now first it all started off with the whole crystal and karina situation as you guys know they are not cool anymore over a situation that occurred with noonie come to find out karina and noonie actually fought for the second time this time while karina was pregnant so now a few days ago was flo's birthday and karina went onto her twitter and stated happy birthday my boy 10 million now, she views. was getting a lot Damn. of hate for these pictures and this tweet that she tweeted so much hate that she even had to go and delete the whole tweet because it i ain't gonna lie i hate when women um uh, they'd be like with his little meat y'all remember she said that his meat was little and be right back on that meat as soon as they can get it right back on that meat like they didn't say it was little truth is it don't be little if it is little, he know what he doing because clearly you be back with his ass. It started to go. In the comments, have y'all ever said a man meat was little and it really wasn't little? You just mad at him? I want to know.
viral. As you can see here, it got 10 million views. No, Dirk's views girlfriend slash fiance, India, had some things to say about <sighs> this whole situation with Karina and people calling her dumb. <laughs> Not ever. She went onto her Twitter. <laughs> she retweeted what Karina tweeted and she stated she's a DV victim. And look how y'all treating her. Y'all know nothing about DV and it shows. Y'all hate women just as much as men. She went back after being beat on. Duh, that's what most victims do. But then someone, you know what? I'm going to tell y'all what I don't understand about the DV part. I <sighs> Say this without, okay. If you are afraid of a man and you end up getting away from the man, as in you're no longer in his home, stuff like that. Do you not feel a sense of I'm safe now? I'm not in the same house as him. He can't put his hands on me no more because I'm not going to be around him. I'm good now. Do any, if you go through that, you know, do, do you ever feel that? I, I want to know because I feel like you are free at that point. You may not be free in the mind, but at least you free from the physical. You know what I'm saying? I want to know what y'all think about that. In response to India with, I love you, India, but there's no way you're justifying this. India states, if that's what you got out of it, then I don't know what to tell you. But there's more tweets. Keep reading. Then someone else states, you're saying this like it's okay. India responds with, no, I'm saying it like stop pretending y'all care Mr. when y'all just want someone to look with. down on. No, you should love yourself. No encouraging words. No, you can do better mm. than this. Just how much of a dumb she is and not to tell like y'all when he like get her again. So what India person, is trying person. to say mm. here is that no one is sending <clears throat> Karina any encouragement <clears throat> instead That's they're terrible. just talking about how crazy she is for actually taking flow back people are also stating don't let us know when he puts one, one, hands one on chat. you again now my thing is i think what people feel like in this whole situation is that they were giving karina a lot of encouragement when she decided to leave flow now she went back to him but india is stating that that's what most victims do they go back to their abusers now if you guys mm. remember one of the main reasons that flow and karina were getting into it was because flow was texting other women karina also stated that flow couldn't stay from outside well i know it's his birthday week or weekend but i know y'all might feel like i'm wrong for this but ladies i think y'all should uh be used to your nigga cheating i definitely think all of them cheat i mean <laughs> like y'all not used to that and i i know i may sound crazy to some of y'all and that's okay but like That's why I'm telling y'all to have a side nigga on the side. Get you a side nigga. <laughs> but he's been outside a lot. He's been on Instagram posting him out at parties and clubs every night. And of course, Karina has not been there because she is pregnant. Now for a while after they I got back together, Flo wasn't going outside as much. So I'm hoping he's just going outside now because this is around his birthday and this is not going to be. Uh, he's supposed to go outside. They're young. Go outside. Every weekend. What's wrong with going outside? Type of thing. Where you're 20. <laughs> if it is, I don't know how long this relationship four, four, four with chat. Karina is going to last. And I say that because that was one of their main issues last time. Now, that's why I don't believe in going back to a relationship after you break up with someone because most of the time the problems are still there. Yes, sometimes people change, but that's very rare. If you are continuously breaking up and getting back together with someone, sometimes I just right that's how things i feel Diamond. maybe not meant to be okay but anyways you guys leave your opinions on that and everything <laughs> else in this video down in the comment section below <sighs> y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comment section below um cha, i just i wouldn't be surprised and trying to keep a 20 year old man in the house how non-existent that is 
y'all got to stop putting yourself through this on I mean just the the stress isn't needed you know what I'm saying it doesn't make sense you're stressing yourself out because a 20 year old man gonna go outside I think that's the craziest thing you could stress over in your 20s like huh I hate that they take everything so serious one thing I would remind rewind in my 20s is um not wanting to be in a relationship so bad and don't get me wrong I had my play time though I had my play time but 20 they got some money go outside you can't stop no 20 year old man from going outside that's crazy let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below love y'all appreciate y'all hell yeah